How's it going guys? Hope you're doing well. It's time for another hack tip video for the Line 6 Helix. The problem that we're trying to address this time is the leftmost buttons on the Helix that change the presets, your up and down buttons. The problem that I always am having is that they're too close to the snapshot button. So every once in a while, when I'm not careful, I accidentally switch the preset while playing. So as opposed to switching the snapshots, I wind up in another song. So how do you prevent yourself from doing that? And the answer is command center. So look what we can do. Right now we are in the preset view. If you press the mode button, you're in the stop mode, right? In, the, in this view, I removed the up and down buttons, meaning that they are not doing anything. And the layout is exactly the same, except these buttons are now not being used. And I can kind of press this button without worrying that I would accidentally change the preset. Let's take a look on the computer, how that's done. So we're looking at HX edit once again, and um, this is the command center. On the Mac, you press command shift M and it brings up this menu. In this menu, you can assign all of the buttons to do stuff. So what I simply did is I mimicked the layout of my snapshots and I assigned See, snapshot five, snapshot six, seven, and eight to these buttons. And these buttons have nothing assigned to them. So as a result, when I switch over to the stomp view, these buttons are not going to change my preset. And uh, this is just another kind of hack, how you can use this command center to change the, lay uh, the layout of your Helix. Because for example, um, you know, the, the preset changing buttons, in my opinion, should have been somewhere on top. I would, I would even put them like above the screen so that they would be completely out of the way. So this gives you extra flexibility. Um, the only other thing is, I mean, it's not applicable to this situation, but if you want to have your, um, uh, up and down buttons do some other stuff. You can only do that on the Helix floor if you're in the 10 stomp mode. Helix LT does not allow you to assign anything to the up and down buttons. So that's that. As I mentioned in some videos, I use the two Helixes I have interchangeably. Um, my floor is, I guess, my main kind of gigging piece of machinery, but my LT is my rehearsing, kind of stay-at-home uh, banger that I take to questionable jams and outdoor outdoor gigs and uh, stuff like that. So it's very important to me to have those two units be completely compatible so I can make changes on one, restore it on the other, and no functionality would be lost. So in this example, that's not the case because you know I am removing the up and down uh, functionality. The only other thing is um, on the Helix LT, it's not very clear whether you're in the stomp mode or the preset view. Let me show you what that looks like. So we're looking at my Helix LT. We are looking at the snapshot view. So if I press the mode button, notice nothing changes visually, but up and down buttons are not doing anything. Press the mode again, and you can switch the presets again. So I wish there was something visual about the LT that would indicate that you're in the pedal board mode or the snapshot view because they look identical, except that the up and down buttons do not work. So that's something else kind of to uh, be mindful of. Otherwise, like I said, I am a snapshot user. I have no desire to use all the 
crazy out there, bells and whistles. I just simply, sometimes I have a couple, maybe two or three presets where I use every single snapshot. And uh, I don't wanna be kind of aiming where I'm pressing. I wanna just slam the button and not worry about changing the preset. This allows me to do that. Thanks for watching.